Alright, welcome back. Uh, in this video we'll be looking at worksheet number two, part number 11. Uh, just like in the previous video, this one does have to be done in two steps. I'm going to start by creating this shape without the corner cut out. Alright, so this height here is two and a half, then over one and a half, then down one and a half, and so on. Alright, so I've got Onshape opened up. I'm going to click Create, Document. This is part 11. I'm going to click sketch on my front view, getting that sketch plane. Then on my left side, I can click these three eyes off. Go to my front view here, and I'm ready to begin. I'm going to use my line tool and go up 2.5. I go to the left, 1.5. Went back to my blueprint here, so I've got, I went up 2.5, I went over 1.5, and now I'm going down this inch and a half, right? This part is an inch, so this part right here has to be an inch and a half, or 1.5. It goes this way, to the right, 0.75, back down my one inch, and connect it, right? giving me that gray bound object. Finish sketch, go to my isometric view. The extrusion here, the whole length is five inches. So I'm gonna click extrude, click on my object, and my depth is gonna be five inches. And hit okay, all right? So that's step one. The second step now is to cut out that top, top corner. Uh, if I look at my blueprint, it goes. It has a depth of one inch, um, a width of two and a half. So what I can do is add my new sketch on top. I'm going to go to my top view so I can better see it. I'm going to use the rectangle tool, either from this corner or this corner, does not matter. And I'm going to bring it across until I snap to that midpoint. Notice my numbers there. My right hand side says two and a half, my bottom says one and a half. Right, it is all black already. I can hit finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. Click on extrude. Click on that part that I just made, but now instead of adding material, I'm going to remove it by my one inch. And there is part number 11 on worksheet number two. Thank you.